On today's food guide, I dive stomach first into Philippine cuisine at an authentic restaurant in Plano, Texas, trying delicious and made to order Filipino dishes from porks, beefs, vegetables, and sides, and my introduction into Filipino food blew me away. You won't want to miss today's food guide. Enough about me and more about this food. All right guys, Filipino food at Kainan Sa Laguna, Plano, Texas. Wow. Here you will find some delicious Filipino food, variety of dishes, and it's a rotating menu as well. Can't even pronounce half the stuff. I came in wanting to try a couple different dishes. They do a plate special. The meats and vegetables look. We'll run through what we got. Pork lechon kawali, they made this fresh. I can smell that man, the swine smells fine. Pork adobo, which is the national dish of the Philippines, gotta get lumpia, staple, kare kare, but with the peanut sauce and vegetables, bistec, vegetables and man, these veggies, that's it, don't know these, I'll put the names right there, big mounds of rice guys, enough about me, and more about this food, Eli, you know the drill, what first? Mm, it's this, yeah. cheese, crispy and fat, yo the skin is crunchy but the pork, tender and fatty, when that's like it elevates the flavor. The sauce is sweet and it accentuates the pork. The crispy skin reminds me of bacon. Holy crap. Mm. Charm this this pork is just otherworldly, dude. Okay. I want to try the national dish, some adobo. Eli, you were shocked about adobo being the national dish, right? I was actually. Very Spanish, right? Yes, it was, but I, I understand. It's like, I'm shook. So the pork is just, it's so tender. The juices, it soaks right into the pork. Yeah. I'm getting a lot of different things. It's like a vinegar soy sauce. The adobo, I'm liking that. Oh my God. I'm on a food taste tour. I'm in. Okay, I've heard a lot about pancit. You see the glass noodles, veggies, it's like jelly. The noodles are soft to the touch. Mixed in with them are carrots, snap peas, the flavor, man. And like the vegetables give it some texture. I want to say there's like chicken, what is this, chicken? <laughs> it totally mimics the noodles. So the reason why I'm here right now is there's a, a common recommendation from my Asian food video. The guy wasn't specific about where, he just said there's this Filipino food spot near Mitsua Marketplace. This is the closest one I pulled up that kind of matched that criteria. And honestly, I'm not upset if I got the wrong place. Also, shout out to the workers here. They let us sample the meats beforehand since we never had them before. Honestly, I was gonna try everything, guys. I, I think this is the kare kare, peanut sauce, vegetables. Mm. how all the meat is prepared it's just like soft and tender and the peanut sauce is real neutral oh adobo kare kare man and vegetables it matches up really well with the peanut sauce that peanut sauce is goaded i had it without it though it was just as good guys but peanut sauce vegetables added a1 beef steak when i hear it i hear beef steak steak you got the gravy the sauce what is that? I thought it was gonna be like, you know, like a, a gravy, but there's something acidic to it that I am enjoying. It helps break down the beef. Like I thought it was gonna be like carne guisada. A lemon, but. Kind of. Yeah. Like acidic. Mm -hmm. but it's not, acidic. But it's not salty but it's though. It's not salty though. It's not thick. It's runny, but that's fine. It's not overpowering the steak. Oh man. I've had lumpy on before. Y'all remember from my Hawaiian video. Mm. Subtle crunch. Good, it's not over fried in oil. Sweet sauce. Gotta love lumpia. Haven't even tried the vegetables. Mushrooms. I saw some sweet potatoes. The celery and green beans. That's distinct. That one I'm not too sure about. I feel like it probably mixes better with something else. Maybe like another meat, but sweet potatoes. Some other stuff in here I can't make out though. Peppers, yeah. Okra, okay. Maybe that's it. Maybe the okra, because okra. Oh, man. I'm not. I'm not really a big fan of okra. I think one of these is the express, and one of these is like the long name I can't pronounce. This one is the spicy one. See the jalapenos. Yeah, I'm getting a little kick. This creamy sauce though neutralizes it. While this is a little spicy, it ain't like spicy spicy. You know what's like really great about this? I think I've had like four or five different pork dishes, but none of them have tasted the same to me. They all have tasted different and this sauce just makes it so much better. 
Yeah, yeah you know the vibes. Bell peppers. Mm, dude. Actually, you never mind. That one's good. This one's better. I get the sweetness from the bell peppers. Once again, it doesn't taste anything like that. I guess that's spicy. This is sweet. Oh my gosh. Why didn't anyone tell me? That Filipino food. I can't remember the last time I had this much pork, but I'm not complaining. The swine is fine here. Dang, dude. You can get three meats and a big ball of rice for like $15, guys, and trust me, you're gonna get full. So for the, the Lechon Quali, that's the a la carte, so you gotta order that separately. I don't, I doubt that they have this like on the go, made to order, but get that, guys. And no one item has tasted the same to me, and Filipino food is just straight up blew my mind. They also have Palo Holo here, a very popular dessert. Eli is vouching for this Philippine drink. It reminds me of like Pumex. It does, like natural juice flavor. Yeah. Thing is, we didn't even try everything that they had to offer. There's still more. There's still more. Dude, I am just blown. Each distinct thing is just giving me something different to enjoy. My favorites, that's tough, man. I don't know, man, the adobo was, adobo was nice with it. Like, look at the size of that thing. That's a big piece right there. They had one where it was like a coconut milk, and I just, I just wouldn't kind of think that is. The only thing I really didn't like care for was the vegetables, which I sound like a real certified fat boy. Oh, I don't like the veggies, I only like the meats and the porks. Mataba, mataba. Yeah, you can call me what you want, but actually, yo, this sauce too, the sauce that they gave us for the pork, I love that crunch. It's so good. Essentially, it's I mean, personally, I love tender, fatty food, but I do like a nice char. This is like the best of both worlds. This is probably like a top dish. I know it's unhealthy because like, it's like fried pork fat. Yeah, everything's awesome. Sans vegetables, but it just tastes really bitter. Really, really bitter. Yeah, no, no, no. The sweet potato helps the bitterness, but when you're not getting the sweet potato, it tastes really bitter. Pick your poison, you really can't do wrong. Food got approved. To the common recommendation, thank you for guiding me here. And Filipino food is definitely slept on, guys. If y'all haven't had Filipino food, definitely try it. I recommend anything but pork. The beef steak was good. Get this and just dip it into any sauce, any broth, any dip, peanut sauce. Got, like the sauce for the lumpia. Get the noodles, guys noodles we made this far of the video thank you for watching guys is there a national cuisine that y'all want to see me try in the future comment down below also any restaurants y'all want to see me try as you can see a restaurant that y'all like or frequent could be featured i always like finding good food i like showing off good food and kind of they got the food man so subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date about all the cool places to eat around dallas i'm the food guy and your food guide enough about me and more about this food peace